Hey guys, Dr. Davlin, board certified dermatologist. Have you ever wondered why women get upper lip lines compared to men? So it's unfair, isn't it? Like women, they cop everything, including upper lip lines. Why is that so? Why do we always see upper lip lines in middle-aged to elderly women, but we never ever see these smoker's lines or barcode lines in men? It's a little bit more complex than just one answer. So let's get into it. Usually these upper lip lines occur past the age of 40. There are certain things that can make it worse, including sunshine and obviously smoking. That's why they call it smoker's lines, but also they are genetic and certainly they're race related. So patients with fair skin types, so skin type one, skin type two, they're more prone to upper lip lines, smoker's lines, and barcode lines. Now let's get into the main reason why that happens. The most important reason is the hair follicle. That's right, the simple hair follicle found in many numbers in men actually supports the skin. So they act as pylons and they go from your upper part of your skin through the dermis and sometimes into the subcutaneous fat layer. And what they do is that there's many, many hair follicles and that supports the overlying skin. So they act as pillars of support and hence that's why men don't get upper lip lines. So hair follicles also can be protective. When I mean protective, basically a moustache or beard can actually protect from environmental stresses the most important is UV radiation. And hence, if a man grows a beard or moustache, that basically protects the underlying skin and it offers a lot of shade, much higher SPF than an SPF 50 because the sun don't shine on that area. So that's why um, men don't have upper lip lines. The third reason is basically uh, because when we shave it, if we decide to shave it, Guess what we're doing? We're actually dermaplaning. So dermaplaning, as you guys know, is a way to actually take off the top layer of the skin. When you take off the top layer of the skin, even a small fraction of the epidermis, it creates a cascade. In other words, an inflammatory cascade and signals to the cells down the bottom, the fibroblasts, to make more collagen. So basically that's how dermaplaning is. And dermaplaning has really taken off in the past 10 years or so. And basically what they do is they use either a scalpel or a razor and you can shave off the villous hairs or basically we call it the bum fluff, yeah? And when you do that, not only do you make the skin more luminous uh, with a better light reflex because you're removing the actual absorption of light and creating more reflectance, but what happens is that that takes up the upper layer of the skin called the stratum corneum. And with this, it releases cytokines, which are growth factors, and the growth factors goes all the way down to your dermis and then stimulates um, basically fibroblasts to produce more collagen and it also increases blood flow. So when men actually shave every day, guess what we're doing? We're dermaplaning. And if you've been shaving since the age of 15 or 16 and someone's in their 60s, they've literally dermaplaned constantly for the last 40 to 45 years. So guys, those are the main reasons why um, men don't get upper lip lines. Now, the other reason, which is kind of controversial, is a study which has been published many years ago, probably about 15 years ago, and it showed that, and once again, don't shoot the messenger, I'm just repeating the study, that showed that men on average speak around 7,000 words, and women speak, believe it or not, 20,000 words per day, which means there's a discrepancy of about 13,000 more words spoken by women. Now, that study has been debunked in the last couple of years, but basically what's trying to illustrate is that with mimetic movements of the lip, of the mouth, basically it's like a piece of paper. So when you keep folding a piece of paper, guess what happens? It creases. And that's what we call dynamic wrinkling. So when we look at wrinkles, specialists, including plastic surgeons and dermatologists, we try to figure out what kind of wrinkles you exhibit. Is it dynamic wrinkles? In other words, when you purse your lips, there's movement and the movement, when you actually see the wrinkles, it's in the plane of the actual movement, so dynamic wrinkles. Is it static wrinkles? Wrinkles at rest, but in reality, upper lip lines, smoker's lines, are a combination of both dynamic and static wrinkling. 
Now, what can you do about it? Well, I'll give you a quick hint about what you can do. First of all, the most important thing is sun protection because when you protect your underlying skin, you decrease the amount of UV uh, going into the dermis and breaking down collagen. So the most important thing is sun protection. Certainly from there on, you can use your skincare, things like your antioxidants, for example, your vitamin C, your vitamin E's, your ferulic acid, your resveratrol, which is found in a red wine, which is an antioxidant. And then from there, you can add your retinol, your retinoic acid, um, and things like niacinamide. So antioxidants, the second layer of defense. Now, if you've got established wrinkles, the most efficient way of actually removing them is either with a deep peel. We're not talking about superficial peels, we're talking about deep peels. So things, for example, like Jesna's TCA peel or phenol croton oil peels. So they give you a thick band of collagen. The downside is, apart from the cost, the downside is the downtime of approximately seven to 14 days with deep peeling. Further from the peeling, apart from chemical peels, you can use laser. The most efficient laser is something called a CO2 laser followed by an erbium laser. They're called fully ablative laser resurfacing in that mode. You can also go for fractional laser resurfacing, but you will take between three to five sessions. So we talked about peels, we talked about lasers. If you have mild wrinkles and you want to get on top of this early, you can try something as simple as microneedling. So microneedling can be done with a derma pen, with a roller or another device or it can be done using energy, and the energy that we use is called radio frequency. So the whole name of it is called RF, radio frequency microneedling. So if you've got dynamic wrinkles, wrinkles which move on um, articulation, certainly the use of Botox, and we can use what's known as micro Botox. So we're injecting small eloquots of Botox to the upper lip, and we're decreasing the actual muscle movement from that. You can also do neuromodulation or modulation using dermal fillers. So what dermal fillers do, they basically replace the broken down collagen. And whether you use a dermal filler or not really depends on your type of wrinkles. It also depends on the anatomy of the upper lip. So someone, for example, has a very long upper lip. Um, if you put a lot of dermal filler in that, you probably enhance and make the upper lip heavier. So you've got to use that with caution. You can use dermal fillers to fill in between the lines, so what we call firming, or we can use what's known as collagen stimulating fillers, which is very different from hyaluronic acid fillers because these filler groups can actually stimulate collagen and hence over a period of three to six months, decrease wrinkles. The other thing which is in fashion nowadays, which may, it's kind of hit and miss for your um, upper lip lines, is that of threads. We're not talking about suspension threads nor barb threads, we're talking about simple monofilament PDO threads. So these threads are very similar compared to your suture material. And what happens is that they stimulate collagen through a process known as dermal fibrosis or fibroplasia. So that can increase collagen, decrease wrinkles. Threads can be used either themselves or they can be combined with heating devices. And these heating devices include something like radio frequency like we discussed before that you can actually use in a needle or you can use that as a probe and finally using something like HIFU which is your high intensity focus ultrasound. So if you're thinking about thread lifts always use that in combination with a heating device. Guys so that is why women get upper lip lines. There are effective methods to do things and effective methods to I guess get you to the end point. So please like, comment, share, and by all means, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed that video. Bye for now.